Welcome back to Jonesy Cast. Hey, my name is Jonesy. This is the cast. Um, essentially, what I do is go through relationship advice on Reddit and do video responses. Um, please like and subscribe if you would like to subscribe. If not, that's cool too. Now, let's get into it. We are here with user Buzz Filter two minutes ago. Things have changed after confession. Need help figuring out, please. Um, I'm not going to read the whole post because it's long, but if you want the context, please click the link in the description. Listen, man, uh, I'll give you the I'll give you the quick skinny though. I, 21 male, really like this girl, 21 female, and we're quite, quite friendly and really similar, kind of have the same sense of humor and everything. So you're friends with her, and then you confess that you want to be potentially more friends with her, and then she's kind of like, hey, buddy, we can still be friends and stuff. <laughs> Listen, man, you're not the first guy and you won't be the last. This shit happened to me. I'm 34 now um, and I've slept with a lot of women, man, but I have failed so much more. I have failed so much more. <laughs> and it was brutal and it hurt. It fucking sucked, but I'm okay because I'm here telling the story, right? So check this out. Essentially, you're describing a pretty common scenario and that's not to cheapen it. That's just to say that you're not alone, okay? Um, where was it? She's the one who gave... So after a few days of these conversations, I said to her that I like her. Before saying that I, that, I told her that I like this girl but I'm really scared and paranoid of asking. She's the one who gave me the courage and even at the end when I was describing who the girl she herself, who, who's the girl she herself asked, is that girl me? <laughs> at the same time, when I said that girl's you, that's a movie moment, bro. Um, listen, it's a rookie mistake to say I like this girl, but I'm really scared of paranoid of asking. It's a rookie mistake, okay? I don't blame you because rookies make mistakes all the time, but... Um, you don't need the approval of someone to like them, okay? You don't need permission to ask them out or to tell them that you fancy them. You need permission to go out with them. You need permission to be their boyfriend. You need permission for a whole lot of things. But you don't need permission to like this girl and ask her, right? What you need is the courage to fail. That's what you need. I don't know what kind of young man you are, but you're 21, and 21-year-old guys are bananas. They just are. Because <laughs> I was a banana. Now, I'm just a little less of a banana because I'm 34, right? But um, don't ask a girl if it's okay that you like her. You just tell a girl, hey, I like you. What do you think? I think what's happened is you have been friend-zoned. Um, but she's just unwilling to say it because she understands. Young women understand that young men take things hard because they're young men. They're, they're young. They don't know, like they haven't had enough knocks, right? I've had a fuck ton of knocks, dude. I've had so many rejections and a lot of acceptances. I've had less, less acceptances than I've had rejections. But you also got to pick your target um, wisely, you know? So, and I don't know if you've done that, but I don't blame you because you're 21. Like just relax, okay? Just chill out for a minute. Um, but here's the catch. After that day, she seems like not in the same page anymore. No more of those conversations. No frequent texting, calling. I get it that she has a lot of other things to worry about, which is completely understandable. But her behavior seems like she's kind of ignoring me or something, trying to ghost or friend zone me. That's what she's doing. That's what she's doing. Now, I don't blame her. She's not bad for doing it. She just doesn't know how to handle the fact that it was one way and now it's another way. Okay. And the problem is that when young people joke about, because I, I did this too. When young women joke about, if I don't find a boyfriend before then, uh, we'll just get married. Never, ever, ever fall for that. And if any other guys are watching this video, never fall for that. Because what that means is that you're plan B. Okay. And we only go for plan B when plan A doesn't work. Okay. Don't be plan B. You don't want to be someone's plan B after she's tried all the other guys, comes back and then finds out that you're the reliable one. You're the nice one. You're the good one. You're the stable one. You don't want that, man. You want a girl that's been 
through those other cunts and understands that she needs a good man, not a nice guy, but a good man. And then she meets you, right? You don't want a girl that you've met and she hasn't seen you like that. Uh, look, th there's something to be said about being friends before you're in a relationship. There is. But there's also something to be said about um, making a decision. This is the woman that I've promised myself to. And come hell or high water, I will keep that promise. Okay, there's something to be said for that. Um, and it's the same for women. Come hell or high water, I will keep my promise to this man. Now, what she has said in essentially the start of this post is, well, if high water comes, I'll just canoe off with another guy <laughs> and leave you dealing with that high water, right? So um, I'm the kind of person that if I get comfortable with a person, I get really frank and address them like, hey, you're darling, my love, and, and sort of which I used to do with her and she used to be okay. But after that, I f day I feel like she gets bothered by all this listen stop doing that stop doing that my, my darling and my love are reserved for your darling and your love and nobody else and the reason this happened is because you cheapened the words by applying them to someone to whom they should not be applied and again I'm not blaming you but that's what happened that's like calling a like just some random my queen like my woman is not my queen because I'm not a king Right, my woman is my woman. She's my she's my woman. That's what she is. Right now, I can call her whatever I want, um, darling, love, etc. But that's because she is that. She's not someone to whom I apply those words because I feel comfortable. Okay, and again, I'm not dissing you, but I'm just giving you tips. Don't use inappropriate words and assign people roles in theory that they cannot um, fulfill in practice. I asked her one day, uh, is that confession bothering her? And she doesn't want me that way or anything like that. If she doesn't want that kind of relationship with me or not, she replied, you think too much. Stop overthinking. Everything's fine. Nothing's changed. I'm just busy doing other stuff. Okay, here's the deal. You don't think too much. You're not overthinking. Everything's not fine. And ev something has certainly changed. I'm just too busy doing after stuff. Well, she wasn't too busy doing other stuff. I, I assume it's the same stuff that she's doing before you said that. She made time for you because you were her pleasure. There was no pressure there. You were her friend. Now what you've done is you've put pressure on the relationship. Okay. And I don't know if you know that, but what you've just said is higher stakes, higher stakes. That's what you've said. I want more. What you've said is I want more. More of what? More of her which means she has to give more. Now, she may not be prepared to do that. And look, man, she's well within her rights to say what she said, but I don't like the fact that she's not telling you the truth. But also, you need to be the man whom people can tell the truth to. Okay, don't don't be someone who cannot handle the truth. But don't go up to someone and go, listen, just fucking tell me the truth, all right? <laughs> it doesn't work, okay? You need to be a man to whom people can tell the truth. And then they will, Right? And to do that, you need to get hurt. You need to get molded. You need to get chipped away like the statue of David. It takes a whole lot of work to make the statue of David, right? And the work here has not been done yet. I'm not blaming you again. You're 21. I don't expect you to have the wisdom to understand what's going on here. Um, now, I really want, now, I really don't know how to cope with the situation. I really like her, and if she doesn't want anything between us in a romantic way, better she say so. I'll happily back off because I don't want to lose her as my friend at least. Okay, here's the deal. You are putting the control in her hands. You are putting the ball in her court. And the only time I will ever do that is with someone I trust completely. And you can't trust people unless you know what they want. You remember that. You take that with you. Okay, you cannot trust someone unless you know what they want. Right? Right? And right now, you don't know what she wants. And so the other issue is that because you are giving her the power and she has the ball and it's in her court, um, she is the actor. She is the agent. She is the force, right? You need to be the actor. You need to be the agent. And you need to be the force because that's what a man does. Okay. A man creates a world in which those who he loves can live peacefully. That's what a man does. A boy just does what he wants, but a man understands his responsibility. So a man acts to ensure 
that he can be responsible and those around him can feel safe. Now, um, with this situation, you need to say to her, look, I'm sorry that I said what I said. I think it was out of line and I would like to rescind it and just be friends, right? Now, she's probably going to get cut about that. Um, But you need to be prepared, whatever you do, for the disillusion of this relationship and friendship and you take it on the, on the chin and you learn, all right? Now, that may not happen, and I hope it doesn't. I hope you two can remain friends. Um, this is rescuable um, because it's been so uh, recent, but do not be, don't, this really sucks to say, and, and I hate that I have to say it like this, because again, I don't blame you, but you can't be a wimp. You can't allow other people to make the decisions for you about what you want unless you have no other choice. But you have a choice here. Make a decision. Either tell her that this is what you want um, and this is what you're going for with her or tell her that it's not what you want and you're not going for it. She needs to know where you sit and where you fall and your intention because she can't trust you because she doesn't know your intention. Because on one hand, you've said, I want you, let's be more. And on the other hand, you've said, oh, but if I can't, Right. Nobody wants a flaky Joe. Nobody wants someone that only doesn't do something because he can't. People want someone in their lives that doesn't do something because he doesn't want to do it. He doesn't believe in doing it. Right. You need to have conviction. And right now you're not showing conviction. You're showing desire. And desire is not attractive. A man with conviction is attractive. Because everyone has desires. Not everyone has convictions. Okay. Listen, I'm going to give you a hot tip down at the end of this video and I'm going to say this. Here's what you need to do. You need to write down what you want in a relationship. You need to write down what you don't want in a relationship. And I mean this again and again and again. I'll say it. Write it down with pen to paper in a diary that you can hide. Um, and that list will change. Write down what you want in a relationship, what you don't want. What you want in yourself and what you don't want. And what you want in a woman and what you don't want. Not about her. Or okay, because she's not the one that is you're going to marry just yet. You don't know that. Okay. Um. And then compare her to the list of things you want. And then compare the next girl to the list of things you want. Um, and so that list is going to change over time and that's fine. But you need to have a plan. You need to have a compass to look at when the high winds of relationship and turmoil come, right? If you do that, it'll set you up so much better, man. So much better. So write down what you want, what you don't want in yourself, in her, uh, sorry, in a, in a woman and a relationship. And that will be your guide for when things get a bit rough and rocky as they are now. And it's you're not even in a relationship. <laughs> it's a friendship. So listen, Matt, um, I wish you all the best. I really hope this thing goes good. I hope you could stay friends um, and fuck it. I mean, maybe she'll just decide that you're the one. Who knows? But um, I hope you go well. Good luck.